Welcome to Momentum versus Velocity Lab. I have a tennis ball and a rock. These two objects have different masses, but will they have the same momentum and the same velocity when they reach the concrete floor? Let's test it out. Three, two, one. To find the final velocity, we have to use the kinematic equation Vf squared equals Vf squared plus 2ad. But the initial velocity is zero, and so we have Vf squared equals 2ad. And Vf is the square root of 2ad, and so plug in the values and you get the final velocity is 6.3 meters per second. The concrete survived. Now let's try the rock. Once again, 2 meters. 3, 2, 1. Now we want the final velocity of the rock. That's going to be Vf squared equals Vi squared plus 2ad. Again, Vi squared is going to be zero. It starts from rest. And so we're left with Vf squared is 2ad. Vf is square root of 2ad. Vf, if you plug in the numbers, is going to be again 6.3 meters per second. So the mass doesn't matter for the final velocity. Now we're going to change the surface. Not concrete anymore, but glass. One. Now let's find the momentum of the falling tennis ball. P is mv, where m is the mass and v is the velocity. m is 0.05 kilograms. Let's plug that in. There it is. v is 6.3 meters per second. There we go. And so our momentum is 0.315 kilograms times meters per second. Two meters. Okay, that's two meters. We're going to drop it from right here. Three, two, one. Wow, the rock actually broke the glass. To see why, let's find the momentum. The momentum is given by P equals mv. The mass is much heavier, so it's 5 kilograms. The velocity is the same, 6.3 meters per second. And so, the momentum is going to be 31.5 kilograms times meters per second. The tennis ball and the rock had the same velocity when they hit the glass. But why did the rock break the glass, but the tennis ball didn't? Answer that question, leave your answer in the comments below, and we'll check you out in the next episode.